Welcome to Elmcroft Farm. No, it's Court Farm, but we are on Elmcroft Farm. And let's have a very quick peruse at this situation. So this is the continuation of the Beef Empire. Now known as the Great British Beef Empire. Because I'm Sheba and I can do what I like. Um, Elmcroft Farm is our farm of choice. If you've not looked at it, go and check it out. But you're going to have a look at it now anyway. Uh, I've not bought it yet, but I have got our machinery brought over from Attingham. So we have everything here. We've got Big Max. I changed his number plate, look. Big Max. The 5150 with the quickie. We've got our cockling drill there. We've got our mater, or mitre, depending on how you want to pronounce it, with our straw bales that we brought from Attingham. We also have our tether, we have our four hay bales, we have a different Cavernland spreader, but it's the same, essentially, it's slightly different, I fancy the change. Um, we've got our water bowser, which you all know, I love it. We've got our Richard Weston trailer, the SF-14, uh, my Joskin, which is edited to carry more cattle. This is a cattle farm. Cows go in there. It also has sheep. Sheep go in here. Ta-da! Right, so, and then we've got our forks, our spikes, our bucket, which are different from the other ones that I had. They are the vanilla in-game Albert ones. We will probably change them at some point. We've got the ten winkle um, weight which we used uh, what else do I have, oh yes I've got my slurry spreader there she is there little butte, it had an update and it doesn't um, it doesn't wear as much as it did before I hope it works as well as it did, I've not tested it I may have to resort back to the original version if it doesn't do what I want it to um, anyway, uh, I know the light is a bit dingy, but it is what it is. So we've got a little shed here which has got a workshop in it, and it does have the workshop trigger. Um, that is the cow shed, like I said before. We've got this big shed here, we've got our grain storage there, uh, and we've got this little, I suppose you could call that a drive shed, that's the type of shed that you would normally keep your tractors in, I suppose looking at it. Um, we do not have a combine because we never had a combine anyway. And then we have this field. It's quite a large field. Um, it's all grass. There's nothing else to it really. Uh, so yes. Also in our um, Richard Weston trailer we have it full of silage because we brought that with us. I'm pretty sure I have brought everything. I need to change the time to five. Um, so we're going to, it's going to be basically the same, the same theory, if you like. That is silage clamp, I believe, and then that one over there is manure. Um, yeah, so basically, same procedure as before. We buy what we can afford when we can afford it, but everything else will get leased. The big stuff will get leased. The combine, the big tractor, anything um, crazy like that. We also need to be quite frugal with our money. So buying this farm and any adjacent fields or anything like that um, is important. Now you may have noticed we do not have the cows here. And the reason for that is because I've got them in holding still at the moment. Because there's a few things we need to sort out. Because this only holds 50 cows. And I didn't want to go ahead and just change the XML. Because look at look at this paddock. It, if you got 50 cows in here, it would be bloody tight anyway. In real life. I mean, you could do it. And they'd probably be alright. 
but I don't want to I don't want to fake this so I do have some plans up my sleeve and they will unravel as we go so the first thing that we need to do right now is get a few things sorted um, so first of all we'll jump into Big Macs <clears throat> Uh, hopefully this is going to allow me to do what I want to, but I want to grab the Richard Weston. Oh, I tell you what would be a really good idea, Seabro. Let's commit. Let's buy the farm. Okay, so farmland. If you want to know where it is, if you don't know where it is, it is not there. If you want to know where it is, because you don't know where it is, it's here. So it's zone 34. I don't know what field numbers it comes under. Uh, so it is... Now, I, I've looked at the prices of things, and the prices are very sensible. Um for gaming. In reality, this would probably be easily one, maybe 1.2 million. As that's all that we've got, I'm okay with it only being 235,000 to buy this. So it's bought. So we'll just, hold on, let's go back in there, sorry. So uh, the farm is here, and then we've got this field, this funny shaped field here, that is ours. Now in real life, according to the map, there will be a hedge here, but it's not. Oxygen David did not put that in there, which is fine, I don't mind. Um, so now that we actually own the farm, Seabro, we are left with one million uh, 31,000 exactly not exactly but approximately 31,557 if you want to be precise now there's lots of things that need to change Big Max is more than likely going to get sold to help us purchase a larger tractor um, and we need to but we will need a yard tractor so we will downsize on the yard tractor side of things I know it sounds a little bit dysfunctional but that's just oh it won't let me do it it won't let me do it I wanted to tip our silage in there where am I going to be able to tip it then I wonder if it would allow me to put it in the manure I bet it won't Let's go around like this. Oh, bumpage. Bumpage a roo. So you're going to be thinking to yourself, That's, this is all where it very well and good, Seabro, but this has come out on a Saturday. What on earth are you doing? Well, you're going to have seven days of this. I'm going to do seven days, relatively short episodes, to get us into some sort of. Hey, it will. Look at that. In there. That's fine. Excellent. So we'll tip our silage in there for now. Yes, um, there's going to be no down on the farm. It's just going to be court farm all week with the odd railway empire thrown in there. We're not going to have um, northern northern flim flam. Can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> Northern Shore? Northern Coast? I don't know, there's one called Northern Shore, there's one called Northern Coast, and for some particular reason I cannot remember. I think it's Northern Coast. Can I put me... Uh, N, there we go. Right, that's that done. So we are pretty much ready for the cows to come apart from the fact that we do not have 
enough room. We have 105 cows to home and only 50 can go in there. Alright, so the next procedure is to take you to the next purchase place. So let's go in the Mighty Maxim. Big Max. You know I'm going to keep it. You know I'm not really going to sell it. Because I love it so much. But we do we, we do need to lease a big tractor. We need to do some plowing. So we're going to turn right out of there and then left down here. And we come down here. And it's lovely road past all these lovely houses. He really has done a fantastic job on this map. And I'm not going to tour it. We're going to come here. Now, I've added this. This gateway is not here. I put the gateway in. But this field is a cow pasture field. There's another farm just there. It's off the back of the farm. I can't remember which farm this is, so we'll go and have a quick look and see it. There should be a sign at the entrance. Jump out. So there's this other farm here, which potentially, if we become rich enough, we could end up with it. Although I don't particularly like its layout, which is why I didn't choose it in the first place. So, Stonebridge Farm, this is. Nice BMX. But yes, this field is separate from the farm. And it's cows. It also has a gate over here. So we can use either gate. But obviously this is kind of part of the farm. So that's why I put the other gate in that we just came in through. So yes, this this we're going to buy. So we're going to pop into here. All for our moves. And we go farmland. And it's 186. And it's 89,000. So we're going to buy that. Yes, we are. So we can put our cows in here. And how many cows did this hold? I did know. I think it is... Hmm. Let's see. Where's the trigger? It's here, isn't it? There it is. Um, let's just click on U60. Alright, so this covers us. Our farm paddock holds 50. This one holds 60. We have 105 cows. <laughs> it just and just covers us. Um, so we'll need to be quite sensible on how we manage things. But we can do it. Alright, so we'll go down here. Now the next plot of land that I would like to buy, but I'm not going to do it quite yet, is this one, this field here. And the reason why is we've got two really handy sheds. That could have bales in it, that could have bales in it, that could have... Oh, it would be a right pig of a shed to manoeuvre in, but we could put some bales in there or some machinery. Maybe if we had a combine we could pop it in one of those. But it's a nice little paddock. We can get some grass off of it. I don't think I would put a crop in there but it would be a good one to get silage or hay off of. So here we go. Down back to the farm. 
yeah so I'm not gonna tour it I'm gonna we're gonna visit places as we go along like I have done in past let's plays and things so now that is all sorted we need to look at crop fields because we are going to need crop we are going to need um, straw but we're also going to need some crops that are going to make us some money in in the long term you know so I'm thinking we don't need any grass we've got that big grass lot there so that will be our grass supplies this is growing grass let's check oh, I go up a little bit you can see the, the the surrounding area so that's that this is grass also Really? They're really grass? Where are we? Where are we, Seabur? 33 and 32. They're quite big fields. Um, so. Yeah, they're grass. Well, that sucks. <laughs> uh, what is 39? What is that? What colour is that? Uh, no, it's never going to be poplar in there, is it? That's not. Hold on. No. What colour is that? Don't know. Doesn't, that doesn't. Compute in my brain. Let's go and see what it actually says. Is that grass as well? Is that, an, that is, yeah, it's just standard grass, right? Yeah. So what's that one? Nice little bridge. Go over it, shall we? Sugar beet. Yeah. Don't want to get none of that going on. So we've got an interesting pathway here that goes through our field as well. We're not worried about that. It's going to come out. Um, okay, so these two fields, 33 and 32. They say they've got grass in them. 35 is bright yellow. Uh, see, uh, these colours don't tally up. Properly. It's not quite the same, but anyway. It is it's definitely sunflowers, eh? Okay. Not to worry, Zebra. So 33 and 32, I think, are the ones that... Well, when you go on farmland, it's 33 and 43. How much are you? 143. Well, we can do it. So let's do it, yep. And 33 is 162, yep, let's do that one. So we've got those two. Thirty-five, which is just here, right? And we can access it from our field. So for the price that it is, should we just buy that? What is that? That is canola. And that is corn. Oh, we don't want corn, do we? Oh, no, we don't want corn, do we, Seba? That is 27,000. Yep. That is 84,000. We've got 609. I don't know whether I would want that or whether I would want 30. Hmm. 
But then that's grass, isn't it? How much is that one? Let's have let's have forty one and then we've got like that square then, haven't we? What is that? That's another yard there, isn't it? We'll go and have a peruse at that in a minute. That could be advantageous to us. Forty one. Yes. Alright. I guess, actually, while we're at, at it, we should buy this other one, 179. Because that's 26,000. Let's just bite the bullet and do that. And then we've got those little sheds in there. We've got this one here. Uh, we, we've managed to get quite a lot with our money. And we've still got 523,000 left. We could potentially buy ourselves another tractor and just keep the 5150 and then lease equipment. Um, I'll let you decide on that, but we're going to have to make decisions pretty sharply. I'm going to lease a tractor to start off with. But now we've got all that together. Oh, we're taking forever to get here, Seba. I want to go and have a look and see this um, this other yard here. Oh, is this the derelict one, by chance? It is. It's the one with all the junk. So, potentially, we could end up having this later on. I don't know how far we're going to go with this. I'm I'm thinking that we're going to go right up into Christmas with this series. And go as far as we can. Oh, come on. Let's just get sensible about it, eh? He says. <laughs> get stuck. <laughs> right, so this is the derelict one. Um, I might shy away from this, actually, because I know that Elite Farming is doing his series with this yard and I don't you know let's keep it let's keep it away from each other perhaps we could um, have a bit of fun now I'll see where he goes with his series and we might put his equipment in there for a laugh make him come and do work for us for free <laughs> right Not much farming happening in this episode, but I tell you what. We have got lots and lots of things coming. This is going to get serious, this series. So this is our farm, Elmcroft Farm. We've got our land bought. We've got to wait for the cows to come in. Um... Now that I've got it all sorted, it might be a couple of days before they can get them down to us. But let's let's just see where we can go from here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe, and may the weather be with you.